Hey guys, Angela here, and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to be putting together another birdies bed. This is their six in one rotational garden bed, meaning that it has six different configurations that you can put it into. Our favorite, or you could say my favorite, is what I call the plus sign or the X bed. I love it because it adds a little bit of whimsical to the garden, but Sam, it drives him crazy with his OCD. With that being said, let's get into it. So here's a brief overview on how we like to put these beds together. You want to get all your pieces out that you're going to be using for the configuration that you're going to put together. Lay all your pieces out and take the plastic film that's on the outside off of all the metal. It is really easy and it's actually kind of satisfying. You go ahead and put all the pieces together in your configuration with the nuts and bolts. And once you get it all level, then you need to tighten down all of those nuts and bolts so it holds everything together nice and firm. Then you add the trim to the top. So we know where we want to put the new bed now, but it's really unlevel, so we're gonna move it out of the way and Sam's gonna use his tractor and kinda cut a little bit more of a level spot right here because this is eventually gonna be my flower garden, herb garden area up here. So let's get on the tractor. To fill the beds up, there are many different ways that you can do it. We have on hand already some mulch, and then we had some extra garden soil from our big beds. So we use the mulch in the bottom, and then we put whatever garden soil we had left on top. You could use the hugel culture method, you could use just all garden soil, you could fill the bottom up with gravel, whatever it is that you want to do to put in the bottom. We chose to do what we did because it's what we had on hand and what we wanted to do. Thank you. 
So while these beds look like a lot of the others that you can find online, these are birdie beds. These are the original. They are made in Australia and they are so much better built. There is only one place in the United States right now that you can get birdie beds from and that is Epic Gardening. There will be a link below if you want to check those out. After spending hours putting the bed together, leveling it, filling it up, it only took a few minutes to plant the plants, but that was the fun part. So if you're curious about this bed, you can check out the links below. We got them from Epic Gardening. We will also have other links below if you've not seen us put together the other beds that are behind me. They are also from Epic Gardening. These are birdie beds, and I have to say they are fantastic. They are very well made. They don't scratch that easy, and they just feel so sturdy and look really nice. So I got Sam to make me some fancy schmancy garden markers to go into my herb collection. And these are really awesome. They are all acrylic, and I think I don't know. I think they're kind of whimsical to go along with my little herb garden. And these will be available on our website and on our Etsy store. You can look for a link down below if you would like to check them out. One thing I have noticed that I really like about them is since they are kind of like the clear and white color, they really pop off of garden soil. And so you're not like looking around to see where they're at. It just kind of pops and looks really good. I'm really pleased with them and I think I might get him to make them for all of my vegetables too. So the herbs that we chose for our herb garden are basil, dill, lavender, parsley, oregano, rosemary, sage, and thyme. We did try to buy ones and grow ones that we knew we were more likely to use. Kind of like cilantro. That's a popular one but I can't stand it. So there's no point in getting it. It would just be like a weed. I did give enough room for them to grow bigger and hopefully flourish. There is an empty spot in the middle but I plan to add some flowers there later on and I also hopefully will get some smaller pots and put flowers on the inside corners of the outside of the bed just to make this a nice flower herb space kind of more for me for an enjoyment type thing. Thanks for coming along as we put in the new herb garden. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time on the homestead. Bye. What is it you say? Hey, guys. Did you say, hey, everybody. It's Angela. Welcome back to our channel. Okay. Does... Either way, let's get into it. <laughs> Thumbs up. Get into it. Should I? <laughs> I don't know. It is a six-in-one rotational garden bed. Oh, yes, so close. Okay, six-in-one rotational garden bed. There is a link below if you want to check those out. <laughs> Let's get into it. <laughs> Should I? I don't know. 
and welcome back to our channel. Today we are going 